Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today I have something very exciting to share with you regarding the future of jailbreaking, specifically the potential development of a brand new iOS 12 jailbreak. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you are beyond stoked that it looks like jailbreaking is going to continue to thrive past the days of iOS 11 and the current 11.3.1 Electra jailbreak. Also, down below in the comments section, let me know what you're most looking forward to as far as a new jailbreak goes. Now, the news in question actually comes from Italian security research researcher Simone Farini, and I do apologize if I butchered your name, he tweeted out the following earlier today with a video, quote, iOS 12 beta 12 pwned kernel memory read write with the developers he did it with, we did it. So some very, very exciting news. We're going to get into exactly what it means in just a second. Let me first show you guys the video though. So he has his iPhone plugged into his computer and he has the output right here. Let me go ahead and just refocus right now. So he has the output right here, and essentially what's happening is this application is escaping sandbox and exploiting the kernel. So some very, very exciting stuff, and you can actually see that in the output here, right about there toward the end. If you were to zoom in right there, you can see that it does say that the kernel has been pwned successfully. So some pretty exciting stuff, guys. You'd see that for one of the stages, it says got kernel read write, and then toward the end, it says post exploitation done, fixing up kernel zone, and then finishes off with done. So for those of you who don't know, kernel exploits, again, are the primary exploits required to create a jailbreak. They're incredibly low level, and that's how we're able to achieve read and write in the root of the file system on an iOS device, and in essence, that's what a jailbreak is. But I cannot stress enough that this is not a complete jailbreak. However, like I've been saying, it's definitely reason to get excited. Like, I can't even believe that we are this far along already in the potential development of an iOS 12 jailbreak, but just note that this alone will not be enough to actually release a brand new jailbreak. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the primary exploit, yes, but there is still so much more that goes into the creation of a jailbreak utility. It's going to take hundreds or more hours of work to actually release this thing and get it ready for the public. As many of you who actually sat around for the development of the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak know, it does take so much time so much effort, and not only that, but the collaborative effort of a number of individuals. So I'm going to keep you guys updated absolutely every step of the way as usual. Be sure to click that subscribe button below next to the channel name and ding that notification bell if you have yet to. That way you will be notified anytime I actually cover future jailbreak updates. But I wanted to leave you guys with this additional piece of commentary here. This does not mean that we are going to get a new jailbreak for iOS 11.4.1. In fact, I've covered this a number of times already. I'm not going to go into it ad nauseum here. So down below in the description, there will be the most recent two iOS 11.4 jailbreak updates that actually detail this. But I'm going to let you guys know that we are not going to get an iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak before iOS 12 is released. That's the firmware that developers are targeting. That's of course the most interesting and iOS 11.4.1 is basically at its end of life right now. When iOS 12 is released in just two short weeks, everyone's going to jump ship for iOS 12 and thus development efforts will be focused on that firmware, especially since the brand new devices that are coming at Apple September media event will of course ship with iOS 12. That makes the most logical sense to target. And of course, I'm going to keep you guys fully updated on everything surrounding that September event as well. So like I said, just be sure to stay subscribed. So that's basically it for today's video, guys. Some super exciting stuff. Don't get your hopes up just yet though. It doesn't mean we're going to get a jailbreak in a matter of weeks. It could still take months. Remember, things are dynamic in the jailbreak community, never static, meaning that they do change and shift at a moment's notice. So I'll keep you updated. Until then though, this is ICU signing out.